Hey, something exploded here at the farm. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what it was. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hans, and the explosion was my tool shed. Uh, in a previous episode, I showed you how disorganized my tool shed had become, and it literally fell apart. It imploded within itself. Anyway, I haven't been able to get uh, into the shed and pay much attention for organization for like two and a half years. Yeah. Other things took my time here on the homestead, but I'm taking the time while I'm off from work and I'm paying special attention to the storage shed. And I want to share with you guys some ideas that I come up with for organizing my tool shed. First of all, I'd like to point out that this is the garden shed that I did the tool shed makeover or garden shed makeover series. I got the shed for free. I got it from, yeah, an estate cleanup and I modified it and I put it higher because somebody gave me this new front door. It was a free door and I wanted to accommodate a regular door going in and out of the shed. So that's why I built these lower walls and set the th uh, unit up on the walls to give me more headspace and to which the door would fit. I also put the window in to give some natural light. Anyway, the shed's together. I got a nice floor in there. I got my stuff in there. And I'm right now going through the stuff to figure out what I am not going to be using. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to be donating all of this to the uh, Habitat for Humanities. Uh, a lot of the stuff I just got from uh, estate cleanups. Yeah another estate cleanups. That's what happens when you're getting stuff for free. You end up bringing it at home and stuffing it into a space that, well, you just basically stuff yourself right out of and that's what happened in here. One of the things I got for organizing is you got it, file uh, cabinets that nobody wants. So I want them. Yeah, those filing cabinets are really good for sorting out. I've got a drawer for my, um, well, plumbing. I've got one for gas lines. I've got one for uh, automotive. I've got one for electrical. I've got a drawer for, well, you get the concept, is it organizes all my stuff that I glean from and use from time to time to be able to get projects and repairs done around the farm. And for the uh, fencing supplies here, and I'm using this five gallon bucket uh, to store all of my fencing supplies for the homestead. And we'll just go ahead and store this in the barn, and it's already labeled fencing supplies so I can identify what that bucket contains. And this recycled, repurposed kitty litter bucket I have containing chains and of course I have it labeled. And here's a nice spot for it right there. And this five gallon bucket will contain my rope and block and tackle that I have. And of course it's labeled as such. As I'm cleaning out the shed, my donation pile to Habitat Humanities is growing ever bigger. Now, another thing I just did was I just went down to uh, Walmart and I purchased uh, four of these boxes and I'm going to be organizing. Why do I need four? Well, let me show you. My soldering equipment, the solder, the soldering iron, and all the tools I need for soldering because I needed a nice, uh, good location and be able to just to grab it and run. 
and go do a project because I rarely solder in the shed. I usually solder around in the house or in the mo uh, one of the fifth wheels. But yeah, we just get this all organized into this one box. You may wonder why uh, I didn't put very much in it, but uh, why do you need to uh, fill something to its max and com maximum capacity? I'm looking for uh, convenience. And it gives me more room to be able to add uh, one of those electric uh, soldering guns. This I have a little soldering iron, so, and the soldering tool, soldering iron down here. And then I've got my solder right here and a soldering tool right there. So this is convenient. Now we're going to go uh, organize that in the um, shop. Another one of these boxes are going to be for my battery maintenance uh, kits. For it, it, Well, let me show you what I'm going to put in here. Got these things I'll go ahead and put in the lid. Okay, for my battery kit, I have one of three different types of battery testers. I've got this basic one, there's little bubble uh, balls in there that uh, test the specific gravity of the battery acid. And then I've got a little bit fancier one, but I just purchased a portable refractometer that is uh, gets you more, it gets you better results at testing your specific gravity on both your batteries and also your antifreeze. So this I bought specifically for testing the specific gravity in my battery banks on my solar powered system. So we're going to go ahead and keep this in this box. Got a battery post cleaner. And I got some battery tools. All these wrenches are battery tools for doing maintenance on batteries. And these will go on the shelf. And then I've got my battery reviving machine along with the solution that goes with it. And I installed these shelving L brackets to accommodate my extension cords. I got this cool thing from an estate cleanup for free. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stock it with my specialty tools. such as my wheel pullers. And snap ring pliers. I also acquired a bunch of these little totes and those accommodate like uh, wheels, doorknobs, uh, or cabinet knobs, cabinet hinges, 
and just a variety of stuff that I can see right through there and see where they're, you know, what I have up there. And that's nice and organized. And of course when you have a tiny little shed, you don't have much room to hang your tools. So I devised this plan to hang all my tools, my garden tools right here. And they all fit. And then another one of these boxes I'm going to use to store my, my little saw blades and drill bits in. And also my cordless screwdriver bits. We'll just set them right here. And of course that background and your noise you hear is the cooling fan for the controller right here uh, on my photovoltaic system. Well that's it. Just some uh, ideas on small space organization especially for a tool shed that had exploded or imploded. It was a mess. Anyway, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this little adventure here. I'm <laughs> going through my tool shed. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. You can do that by subscribing, uh, clicking that bell icon. That uh, alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I enjoy watch, uh, looking at your comments and reading your uh, what you guys have to say. You can follow us on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Google Plus, not Google Plus, they're dead. Uh, Blogger, Instagram, Snapchat, and uh, LinkedIn. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.